it still says it's a 30 on my on my thing. Yeah, nah, it was never gonna do that, was it? Let's be honest. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tesla Driver. Today we're gonna be jumping in and just doing some autopilot, but on some pretty different kind of roads. This is actually Welsh countryside roads, um, which have a speed limit of 60, but you tend to drive anywhere between like kind of 35, 40 around them most of the time because of the bends and the hills and the dips and stuff. And I wanted to see as a quick test uh, how the Tesla would do on these kind of roads. So uh, let's actually just plug it in before we get over this mound just to see if uh, it works fine. So we're in we're in it here. I'm going to control the speed, obviously, uh, as we do, and I'm going to stay nice and low down. Now, I do know these roads very, very well, but as you can hopefully see, I hope the GoPro doesn't distort it too much. There's loads of dips in these uh, in these roads, and there's loads of little, like, you know, little leans and stuff like that. Like, that is, God, that is so close. The roads do get so tight, so you've really got to be on it. So, um, yeah, so I thought this would be fun for the first video back. I'd really like to know uh, what you actually want to see on this channel, whether it is just autopilot stuff or Tesla stuff in general or car stuff in general, whether you want me to talk, commentate or just literally drive and, you know, make assumptions as you go or whatever you want to do. I really don't mind. What I plan to do on future videos is actually have multiple camera angles. I've only got this one now because I wasn't planning on doing this. I just really wanted to. I'm going to bring it down to 30 now. Um, and I'm kind of going to talk about things that I notice in autopilot because obviously I use it a lot. I use it every day uh, and things that I need upgrading for sure, changing, etc., etc. So uh, we're just going to let it cruise as we're in this 30. Okay, we're slamming on and I don't know why. We literally just slammed on and I have no idea why there. Oh man, it's not liking these curbs. It's not liking these tighter rows, that is, that is for sure. But this is something that autonomous vehicles are really gonna have to get to grips with. This isn't the toughest of roads. Um, it's actually quite, you know, a nice road. The line's clear. It's got no line on the left, which is why we're creeping. One mile, bear left onto Chepstow Road. Which is why we're creeping left every time. So you can kind of see, look how close we are over on this left side. And you can hopefully see it in the screen as well, that it's really hugging the left. And this is something of the version I'm running that I've noticed a lot. It's very left heavy. Uh, it's even touched the curb a couple of times when I've been autopiloting on little bits like that. Yeah, and you can kind of feel it going kind of down into them. So we're into the 60s, so I'm gonna pull it up to 40 for this little stretch of road. Um, you cannot do this at 60. Well, I mean, you can do, but it's pretty damn dangerous, but uh, it's nice to go 40 down here. So I'm actually running the 2018, the final 2018 version of the Tesla software. I haven't got the update. This is gonna be close, because that tightens up there. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, no, it's okay. I'm gonna make loads of weird noises, but seriously, if you haven't done autopilot before, I, I'm assuming the majority of people watching do have a Tesla or have autopilot. Actually, I'll put a poll in the top right, let me know. This is going to be interesting. Nah, see, I, as soon as as soon as it went too far left, um, it just came off straight away because I hold it quite firm so that it really can't scatter left or right around the uh, around the road. You know, if you have autopilot, that when you're on it and you're testing it like this, you make loads of weird noises. Literally, it's it's like you're trying to hold everything in, and you're like, oh, because it does get really really close sometimes, and you've just got to kind of be ready for that especially when there's other cars on the, on the road and you're on a, a smaller road like this. But this is all part of the beta testing and, and this, is, this is, to be honest, there, kind of what I love. Now this isn't actually a junction, it's just a turn. So did that okay. But yeah, 40 seems about the kind of right speed. We could probably pick it up for the, the next little bit. Might be able to get around these um, quite nicely at a higher speed. Yeah, it does that pretty well. It's, it's quite confident actually now on straighter roads and stuff, but as soon as you get to areas like this, it really does struggle. But we've got a left line actually. Yeah, look at that, that's helped a lot. Definitely, the difference of having a, a left line on the road is immense. Like, I feel quite safe now. I don't feel safe with this bit coming up. <laughs> that's not too bad. But I feel, I feel a lot safer when there's two lines which sadly in England we don't really have, but they seem to have quite good lines here in Wales. So yeah, so I'm, uh, like I said, I'm in the final 2018 update. I haven't actually got the 2019 update that has come out. Uh, I went to Tesla Service Center before this video to see if 
to, to see if I could actually get the update, but they said no, it's not. It's just not ready yet for my vehicle. So I'm in a different batch apparently, which is quite good because this is obviously you guys are potentially going to have actually better autopilots than I have in this video. So one gripe that I really do have with autopilot is the fact that it doesn't read signs or at least it doesn't seem to read signs. So like that 20 sign, it still says it's a 30 on my on my thing. Yeah, nah, it was never gonna do that, was it? Let's be honest. Uh, this is gonna be way too tight for here, so I'm just gonna drive through this bit myself. Um, but yeah, again, these bits are, are gonna be bits that autopilot and general uh, autonomous cars, they're gonna have to deal with. They're gonna have to deal with these roads. And I'm kind of concerned with the speed they're gonna do all of this. Now, 20 feels insanely slow here, but it is a very dangerous area. And obviously, like, around these corners and stuff, we're going to have to slow down more. But, like, how would an autonomous vehicle do this bit? Like, that's going to be really, really tough. And I haven't seen anybody, uh, whether it's, like, a, a company itself, or we've got a digger, uh, whether it's a company itself, like, as a promo thing, except for that one video Tesla did where they went through a town... I've not seen any really tight corner turns or anything like that as of yet. So I'm quite excited to see if they actually can solve that and if the current technology in these Teslas is good enough to, to get full self-drive. So you can see now actually that we've got a, a normal BMW driver in front of us, the kind of speeds that he's doing uh, or she's doing. It's roughly 30, 30s are 30, 40 around here is kind of the speed that you want to do. And I have no problem with that. And actually the autonomy I really enjoy doing at these speeds because I feel a lot safer. If things happen, I can, you know, interpret them really quickly and, and kind of get involved. Whereas at higher speeds, it's a little bit more questionable. But then some people would say that this is more dangerous than autopilot at higher speeds because I'm on a windy road. So I guess it's up to you. To be honest, this car's going slower than even autopilot was going. Uh, I'm gonna stick it up to 40 because I think they're gonna start speeding up on these bits. One thing it's really hard to get used to is actually just keeping something on the wheel because obviously that's what we currently have to do. It's so easy just to put your hands on your knees like that and just relax. You've got to stay like kind of prepared. I do notice every now and then my hands are like here and I'm like, oh, yeah, up to the wheel. But I guess that will come in time and then hopefully it won't be an issue in five to ten years. It's really rock solid. In fact, the beam is starting to speed up and I'm happy to speed up on this little bit of road as well. So that's really good to do. And it's it's coping nicely. It's actually really coping nicely with the dips and stuff. We've we've had to abort a couple of times, but I did expect that if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, this is really nice. So I want to do on this uh, channel, I want to do kind of two videos, at least one video a week, potentially two videos a week, one on a Saturday and one on a Sunday. What do you guys want to see? I know I asked this earlier, but I am asking again. What do you want to see? Like, comment it down below. How long do you want the videos to be? Is this one camera angle good enough? Is the recording quality and the microphone good enough? Just let me know, because it's I've never done car stuff like this a lot, and I really want to do more on this channel, uh, because I really enjoy going out and autopiloting in the Tesla. But I want to know what you guys uh, think. I've watched a few autopilot videos. Some of them I find way too slow and boring, and the people don't talk, and when they do talk, I fall asleep. Whereas sometimes I have it where people are completely the opposite way and I can't watch it because they annoy me because they're so overactive. So I'm kind of like being me at the moment in the middle. Uh, let me know what you prefer and I, I can kind of do what I can do whatever. If you see my other YouTube channels, my other YouTube videos, you'll see that I can kind of do any, uh, any of those kind of YouTube personality things. So with the Beamer in front of us, it's, it's quite good actually because we're getting almost a feel of the car slowing down to take corners. It's almost what you would expect from full autonomy. Obviously, the Tesla's not gonna be taking every corner at full speed or even at the speed limit all the time. So it's quite nice to have a car in front that is actually going slower than I personally would drive myself, but it's nice to have that in front because then it regulates the speed of uh, the Tesla. So that's actually really quite good because down here, I'd be absolutely cacking it if I was doing 50 on autopilot down these kind of roads. Even 40, to be honest, is a little bit wary. And have you seen what's over there? <laughs> Yeah, not great. Okay, how's it going to do this? Oh, oh, okay. We might have lost a couple of lines there. But I really wanted you guys to be able to see the steering wheel because that was something that a few of the other videos missed out is they didn't include the steering wheel. And to me, the steering wheel shows everything. The steering wheel shows you 
the extreme oh, turns. It's doing it fine though. It's that left line. Guys, this left line is making this work a treat and the slow car in front. Not slow car to be fair. Um, a good normal kind of speed, like I've said, but regulating my speed, which is good. Is that car gonna bother us at all? No, it doesn't look like it. And I've also noticed a couple of changes uh, in like kind of that have happened in the last update. Uh, I'm talking obviously the 2018 update, not the 2019. Things like bridges on motorways and stuff. For some reason, my Tesla slams on every now and then. If I'm going downhill and like a bridge and I go under the bridge, it for some reason slams on every now and then. Let me know if you guys get that too or if that's just something that I get. Okay, we're getting a little bit of uh, rain as well coming down now, so I hope that doesn't muck up the cameras too much. But that is definitely one of the reasons I debate this system being completely fully autonomous. But I, will, I, I am very excited for Elon to prove me wrong. I just don't think that this will be able to do it. So we're staying a nice distance away. Okay, this might, yeah, I might have to take over here. Uh, oh, I might not. Uh, yeah, I did. So I'm not sure what that was trying to do there. It looked like it was trying to do an immediate left turn. And because I was holding it straight, it just kind of stayed true. I'm not sure. What speed actually can I do autopilot at? I've got no one behind me. I can do it at 25. Oh, I really wanted to see if it would do one of these bends. You can see the other car on the screen, like, in the distance. I don't think it's going to do these bends. These bends are a pretty pretty tight there we go right, let's pick it back up to 30 so yeah again now that we've lost that left line you can see that the car itself is actually like it slows itself down randomly and i'm really really nervous about those kind of curbs oh my gosh oh my gosh tesla okay time for a little bit of a change of pace we're actually jumping onto this dual carriageway for a little bit and we've got some rain coming down as well just to see how it works on the dual carriageway in this update and to see if it just you know how, how good it is now again i've not had issues on dual carriageways in ages these roads seem pretty solid for for autopilot the only problem like i said before that i've ever had actually is with the is with the bridges or tunnels uh, where it just slams on when it sees one. But this is actually quite an interesting dual carriageway because it's relatively fast and it's got corners. So this is a 70, uh, obviously being dual carriageway, but you can see that the corners are quite tight on it. But that's quite nice because it uh, allows the car to control itself at a little bit more of a higher speed than maybe it kind of normally would. As you see, we're kind of cruising up here really nicely, really confidently. No problems with the self-drive or with any of that kind of aspect of it, to be honest. Ah, right, we've got a little bridge coming up ahead and I'm hoping it will do what I've said it, it normally does. But to be fair, we're not going down. So normally it's when we're going down and I, I just don't know why. But it's doing it pretty well. But you can definitely see this being, you know, the future of it and, and all of that. This is definitely the future of driving. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, no problems at all really nice and solid and it's bringing up now but you see i have got my hand on the wheel but i just need to tug it a little bit harder and yeah working great down a dual carriageway so like i said let me know what you want me to uh, show you next what you want to see next whether you want me to go take the tesla and challenge it in different kind of scenarios and stuff i'd really love to do whatever videos you guys want me to do with this um so yeah comment it down below i hope you've enjoyed this and we've got a couple more little swivels that i'll keep in now just just in case something goes tits up and I don't think it should. Oh, you know what I haven't actually done? I haven't lane changed in a long time automatically. Is it gonna do it? Nope, look at that, didn't wanna do it. I wonder why. Strange, like, now with lane changing, it's never, wow. Oh, and now I won't even take it, okay. Interesting. Maybe we're going actually too fast for it on this kind of curve it thinks that if it takes over it might be questionable it says it can take over now so yeah that's not too bad that works quite well so we've got a car joining actually it's good timing because there's a little bit more going on see if it does anything for that it might be a little bit too far ahead yeah it's too far ahead but yeah uh autopilot on the dual carriageway working a dream and good fun to take it through the through the through the normal roads so i hope you enjoyed the video everybody make sure to hit the like button comment down below and i'll see you in the next one drive safe